Bienvenidos and welcome to all of my visually impaired friends. Today we're going to be learning how to make glasses and or any other kind of eyewear you'd like in Vroid Studio. You are going to need Photoshop and or an equivalent software. If you don't have that and you want to draw directly in Vroid, your glasses are going to look pretty ugly, so just want to have that note going into this. So let's get started. As usual, with any of these types of tutorials, first thing we're going to do is create a freehand group within the hair. Name it something appropriate. And once you've done that, we're going to duplicate an existing material we have because we don't want our hair to be covering our eyes. We want to have something that's going to look like glasses. And we'll go in and we'll adjust that texture in just a little bit. But go ahead and adjust your mesh so that you're going to have a flat surface over the eyes. That's going to help us take this 2D image we're going to have and bend it around the face to cover the eyes as we need it to. So, once you've got that, we're going to take our hair texture, which, like I said, we don't want to have a hair texture, and we're going to just erase this one that we've just created, that we duplicated. Feel free to turn on the mirror tool and make this process a little bit quicker. And what we're going to do is we're just going to draw on the left side of this. The hair is technically two sides on one image. So because we just need a kind of 2D picture to cover the face, cover the eye specifically, we're going to just draw on one side. So if you're doing the mirror tool like I am, don't do that. You're going to want to go just on about one half of the image. And I'm going to go with these cyberpunk looking glasses. So very crudely, I'm just going to draw out some lines and dots and give me kind of a cyberpunk grid look. And that's probably going to be good enough. Um, we are going to export this so we can adjust it and clean it up in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and just see how this looks as it is. You're going to want to have a flat and straight hair here and just as it is looks like I got my eyes burned and I've got a bandage not what I'm looking for so let's choose the right material and from here I'm counting the adjustment points I want to make this as symmetrical as possible generally glasses are symmetrical across the face so that's why I'm kind of lining this up I counted 10 adjustment points here so I'm trying to do 5 and 5, but there's a sneaky little guy on the left there, so I actually have 11. So I'm going to pull one to the middle, and then do 5 and 5 on each side. And I'm using the mesh or the grid to line these up, and you can see about every square is where I'm doing these. So it's going to be even across the face, and I'm going to tuck in the width so I get my full texture on the face. And you can adjust this as much as you want. I'm going to pull this back just to really make it go all the way around. Because I got that sci-fi style going on. You may not want to if you're doing traditional glasses, which I'm going to show you in just a minute here. But that gives us kind of the relative idea of what we're working with here. So let's go ahead and take our really ugly hand-drawn picture here. We're going to right-click and we're going to export that and save it somewhere that you can get to it. And then we're going to import that picture to Photoshop. And once you have it in Photoshop, if it's easier to rotate it, you're very welcome to rotate the image 90 degrees and you know adjust it as you need to. But for me, with my very simplistic cyberpunk design here, I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to draw a really long rectangle and fill it in. And I'm going to just go over and kind of match up and just do another really big rectangle. And now I don't need my crude hand-drawn layer there, so I'm just going to hide that. And I'm just going to take a brush tool. And uh, luckily I have this splatter brush that I'm going to do on the sides here just to give it a neat little look. But I'm going to use just the basic round brush and just draw a bunch of lines and circles and dashes and things like that. If you're not very familiar with Photoshop, you can use this trick that I really love. If you hold the shift key and then drag your mouse, that's going to draw straight lines for you. So, boom. No matter how shaky your hand is or how terrible your mouse skills are, you can just use the shift key and bring it across. If you click somewhere and then shift click somewhere else, it'll connect those two points directly. So, 
if you're doing a bunch of little bumpy jaggy bits or more angles that aren't like 45 degrees that's a good trick as well so the shift key is going to be your friend when you're drawing this out so i think that's good enough i'm going to go ahead and just right click on my image i'm going to import my nice new one into vroid and that looks significantly better so you can see my little splatters in there you can see all my little lines and it looks fine I'm going to pull it just a little closer. If you need to pull it up over the nose, again, if you're doing like traditional glasses, you may want to do that. Feel free to just pull that back in over the nose. Because I've got my little sci-fi look going on, I'm going to pull it out just a little bit ahead of that. So it's not colliding with the nose or the face anyway. You could also shorten the width. So you've got skinnier glasses. And of course, if you increase the width, you're going to get bigger glasses. So that's obviously up to you on what your preference is or what style you're going for. And that's basically it. I'm going to finish this off by just kind of filling in both sides here so it looks like a cohesive piece and not just empty space on the sides. And I think that's looking good. So let's just give it a quick peek. And yep, it's hanging out pretty well. So let's move on to traditional glasses here. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the model I have for Michi Heno. And she has more traditional style glasses, but it's the same idea. So you can see I've got just my big flat hair texture. She has blue glasses by default. So if I mess with the base color, that's obviously going to change the color of the glasses from blue. I'm going to do green because this is for her Christmas outfit. The shading isn't going to matter so much if you've got very dark glasses. So, you know, I've just left that as red. Doesn't really matter. And same principles apply. You can lower the width, increase the width for bigger glasses. Now, thickness isn't going to matter because this is a 2D layer instead of a real hair. Um, but, as I've already noted, adjust the width as much as you need to, bigger, smaller, for whatever works for you. Again, you can see I just have the glasses kind of on the left side here. And I added an extra layer to show you here that uh, opacity doesn't matter. It, v Roy doesn't do partial opacity. So if you were hoping to have like a reflected lens or something, you're not going to get that. You're going to get a solid color lens or you're gonna get no lens. So for Michi, I've chose no lens because we like to see her beautiful eyes. But if you wanna have that manga style of like solid white, you can do that, but there is no partial opacity. It's all or nothing. Uh, if this was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down and I'll catch you next time. See ya.